Hi, I'm Minister Ralph Fredericks. Making a difference is my belief. Here is my challenge to everyone. I just want to challenge everyone, a challenge I'm also trying to live out. No matter how busy you are, there is always something you can do to brighten someone's day. Give someone a hug. Send a text with an inspiring quote. Friends, mail a heartfelt card. Tell someone how much you appreciate him or her. If we look each day presents us with opportunities to share kindness throughout the world, my core belief that we are called to not only love God and love people, but to carry out the great commission and share the eternal message of Jesus Christ. My goal is to help you reimagine your life and let go of the thoughts and behaviors that undermine you so that a renewed and fulfilled you can emerge starting today. We must love one another as God loves each and every one of us. To be able to love, we, my friends, need a clean heart. Prayer is what gives us a clean heart. The fruit of prayer is deepening of faith, and the fruit of faith is love. I hope each and every one of you remember to show compassion and have a a great life ahead of you with Jesus Christ. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an author, an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, minister, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under channel to Your Life Back Today show. Friends, it is okay to be outspoken about your faith. There are several things that keep me grounded and focused each and every day. When you can humble yourself to say, I'm no more important than anyone else, that is when your humbleness shows. I just have a gift. We have to humble ourselves. And the way you do that is by serving other people each and every day. I think staying grounded is one of the hardest things we'll ever uh, do in our lives. It's always back and forth, back and forth. To be able to stay grounded, we need to live with open hands that everything that we have has been given to us by the creator of the universe. He can take it away anytime and he can give it back to us anytime. He can take some things and then he can give us new things. When one door closes, a new one is going to open in your life. For me, it's a great opportunity on a public platform like this to get on your knees and humble ourselves and thank the Lord for all the blessings he has put in not only my life, but in our lives. I try to learn from every experience whether it's a good experience or a bad experience. You can be extremely bright and still have uh, some sort of thing like dyslexia. You just have to understand how to learn and how you process the information you have in your life. When you know that, you can overcome a lot of the obstacles uh, that come with anything that you might experience. When you figure out how to learn, you can accomplish whatever you want. It is important to take God's love personally. Though it may not be an easy thing to do, sure, God loves the world, but he also loves each one of us individually. Isaiah 64, waiting on the land, I mean waiting on the Lord, doesn't mean being complacent. It means understanding that he has a plan and that we're not the ones in control. In the meantime, we need to strive to use our gifts and abilities fully. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. That is the concept of life. Call me at 844 help Together we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves. Always be good to each other. And remember, a simple smile to anyone can change their life. And it can make a difference in your life too. Friends, be humble. Rely on the Lord. Remember that any gift that the Lord had provided to you to always share with others. May God bless each and every one of you. Take care.